Are you afraid of going live? Do you have a fear of going live on Facebook or Instagram or doing video in general? My name is Stacia Kennedy and I am your online marketing coach. I help entrepreneurs, business owners, real estate professionals generate more leads and sales using social media and video. And if you are not doing video, I don't know what to tell you. you. You want to drive more business, generate more leads and sales online, then that is what you need to do. And if you wanna get over the fear of going live or doing any kind of video, I want to have you come in and listen to my interview with Amani Chanel. Amani Chanel is a co confidence coach. Amani Chanel is a camera confidence coach and he actually has been in the news industry for many many years and has been teaching introverts how to get over the fear of the camera so I want you to go in and listen to the rest of this interview that i did this morning jump on in all right hey 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 guys it's day two of the video challenge and I thought I would bring in a really cool guest and I'm really excited to have Amani Chanel. He is a video confidence and TV guy and um, he's here to help people, get in especially introverts, get over their camera shy and become more confident. Let me, I'll just give it over to Amani and tell, you let them, let you tell them a little bit more about you. Yeah, so thanks for having me, Station. Uh, so I'm, a, I'm a, originally from California and I've worked in television broadcasting. I worked as a news reporter in a past life. So my story goes that when I um, first got in the broadcasting business after I graduated from college, the advice is always to go to a smaller market, right? Go to a small market where you can work out your kinks, you can like make your mistakes, and you can like learn on the job. Because really, um, media, like especially being on camera, is like a learn as you go kind of a uh, you know profession or job. And, but I didn't listen to that. My first, well, actually, I was applying to smaller markets, but then my first job actually uh, on air was in Tampa, Florida. And Tampa's like a, I think it's like the 13th largest market in the nation. <laughs> and so, um, you know, I, and I had, but I've been on air, like I had done some radio work in community college and in college, I went to the University of Florida. But, you know, like being on TV in a major market, like I wasn't ready for the picture at all. And so my first four years, like three or four years, I really, really struggled. I would get, um, I would get nervous. I would get anxious. I would get like performance anxiety where I would like have hot flashes. I would stutter. I would stumble. I just couldn't communicate on camera. And it was, it was so bad that one day one of my fellow photographers was like, Amani, like, dude, what's going on with you, bro? Like even people who you think are your friends at the station talk about you behind your back. And it wasn't like, a mystery to me because I knew I was struggling. Like it was like, I wasn't getting much better. Like I was making small amounts of progress, but every time I would go live, like the pressure would just get to me. I would have these meltdowns on live TV and it was terrible. It was like awful. And so, um, you know, he ended up mentoring me. His name is Rod Finch and he was, he was really good with working with interns and he gave me some tough love. He gave me some advice, some tips as we went along. And the biggest thing that he did for me was um, one day after one of my um, on camera bits, he was like, Monty, um, you know, you got some bad advice. Somebody told you to be like this particular reporter who was like an old school, like traditional, like hard news, like police beat reporter who like had this really stylized delivery. He said, your personality really isn't like that. He was like, you're really more like this other guy. Like, think about him because his personality is more like you want to try to be cool. This is more my personality. And uh, when he said that, like the light bulb went off and it was like, oh. And so very quickly after I, he, he, I had that revelation um, or the light, that light, that aha moment, like I figured it out and I ended up leaving the station. I was like a seasoned journalist. Like I covered stories for the networks and for, um, all sorts of, all sorts of our affiliates. And I was basically a reporter, a full fledged reporter who could communicate on camera live, just like I'm doing now. So that's kind of my backstory. And so, um, yeah, so I'm just glad to be here. And I noticed you're doing this 30 day challenge. I actually was going to get, I was like, I need to commit to it. <laughs> <laughs> but I was doing a challenge in one of my groups. I did it in January. I did a 38 challenge. And so I was like, do I commit? Maybe I'll just pop in and out. So I'm still on the fence, but hey, you're having me here. So here's my day one challenge. So I'm, I'm participating in your challenge either way. Awesome. Yes. Um, if you guys want to be part of the challenge, make sure to comment below. And if you're watching us live, you know, hashtag live. So we know that you're here and hashtag replay so that we can keep track of you in the future. If you're watching the replay. 
Um, I decided, hey, it's a countdown to my birthday. One, you know, <laughs> to my birthday is the 30th. And it was actually pretty convenient that this month, um, you know, the first started on Monday, which is kind of helps you get started. You know, when you start the week off and start the whole month off and I thought, you know, especially it's more really for me. It's like, like you said, it's like, it's really a push for me. If I, if I'm going to say I'm going to do this and I'm going to make everybody come and do this with me, then I better do it too. <laughs> yeah. It's like, they, so when I did mine, I was like, I, after I posted the comment, it was like right around new year's. I was like, Oh my goodness. I just committed to 30 days of making videos. And I ended up doing it. Cause like once you commit to it and then other people will, will sort of participate in like you build momentum. But when I first, I was like, what did I just do? <laughs> but it was really good because, like, as an introvert, sometimes I'm, like, really prolific in my video making. Like, I'll make a video, like, really frequently, like, maybe two or three times a week. But then sometimes, like, and I just came off of one of these things where I, I, I get kind of, um, I don't want to say camera shy, but I get in this mode where I don't feel like making a video. Like, I just kind of get in myself. I'm like, I don't feel like making a video. I don't feel like making a video. And so what I, what I did, um, Stacia, is I, I have a bunch of interviews that are in the can that I've already, um, it, like I was planning to hold them for like podcasts or I have a YouTube channel as well. So I've basically been releasing my interviews on a weekly basis. And that's another method. Like if you're, if you're kind of camera shy or you're just not ready to go making videos like every week or whatever, like record, I call it batch producing videos. So you record like three to five to 10, however many videos you can in one session, and then you can drip them out weekly. And so that's what I've been doing, but it is good to, to go live and go on Instagram and, the, I mean, because the more you do it, the better, the better you get. And it's all about practice. That's one thing that I've, I've really discovered in, in my own challenges, speaking on camera was just that it's about the reps. And so what I developed was a six part formula. I called the video fearless formula. So what happened was um, I love to teach, like I've taught at some universities and I've taught, um, online as well. And I was like, what can I teach people? And I was thinking, I was like, well, maybe I can just teach people how not to suck like I used to. And so I was like, maybe there are other people, though, that are maybe introverted or maybe not. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're introverted or not, because actually introverts are actually great on camera because, I mean, you're in your own place or like you're by yourself. You just have a small device to talk to. There's no one to bother you. Um, so I feel like for introverts, like speaking on camera is the perfect medium for us. Um, but. I was like, how can I help people? So um, I developed a, a six-part formula called the Video Fearless Formula. I created this program called Video Fearless, and it's all about empowering people to use their voice and to make videos because video is so important these days for anyone who's online especially. Yeah, I just got back from social media marketing world, and it was very prevalent, and it was like validation for me. They were like, you need to go live. You need to be on um, Instagram Live or Facebook Live. And, or at least have some video consistency is key too. So that's part of the 30 day challenge is, is I want to be hold, held accountable to even put little, little, you know, bite sized value out there. Um, what else can you tell us uh, about how people can get over the fears? I work with a lot of real estate agents and people who are, you know, I'm like, dude, like to save your business, you need to go. <laughs> right. Well, you have to think about it. Like, um, all the statistics show that, like, in a couple of years, like, videos is going to be, like, 80% of all internet consumer traffic. So if you're in business, you have to get over that fear. And there are a lot of reasons why people don't make videos. Some people don't like the way they sound. They don't like, like, the way they look. But it really comes down to a couple of things. People are fearful of rejection, of being disliked, or saying something stupid on a camera. And I totally get that because, believe me, I did that many a time. I, I like made a fool of my ass of myself for for years really literally on but national tv right? on, on, <laughs> on local on local news exactly um so but you know if you want to make videos it really comes down to a process which i i developed and I, i've looked at a lot of the um content like on youtube like confidence and different videos and even rings like you can look at them and they have good suggestions and those all work but what I developed was a systemized, a six-step process where if you follow these steps, you will definitely learn how to communicate on camera. You will gain your confidence. Um, my first student who I worked with, I, when I first decided to do this program, I didn't really even know it was a viable idea, right? Because you have these ideas and you kind of test them and you talk to people and you figure out if it's, there's a market for it or not. Her name is Charlotte Squire. She lives out in Germany. So when we were doing our first little um, consulting call, she said her challenge was that every time she goes live uh, or anytime she tries to make a video, she, for her mind goes blank. 
And, and I totally get that. Cause like there were times where I, I have all my information written down. And then as soon as they toss the anchors, toss to me, like, I forget what I'm saying. I have to do this like next step thing. And, and like, it was like ridiculous. Like as soon as, as soon as the pressure hits you, your mind goes blank. It's kind of like a, it must be like a fight or flight thing. And so I really didn't even know that I could help her, but I, I thought about it for a second. I did a little quick little exercise with her. And by the end of the call, she was like speaking on camera. So I was like, okay, so basically I'll, I'll spell out the steps. So the first thing you have to do is you just have to get committed, which is awesome. So you created this 30 day challenge. I would suggest for people who are especially camera shy, you have to just get committed, make a 30 day commitment just to do it. Right. You just have to, to get committed. But that's the first step. The second thing you have to do is have the basic gear that you need. Now the gear is not that complicated. Like I'm able to have my smartphone, I have my little earbuds, which serve as my microphone. That's really all you need is a smartphone and, and really earbuds uh, to make a video these days. Um, so that's the gear. I, I have a tripod and a little tripod adapter as well. Um, the next thing you have to do is just prepare your message. Just figure out what you're messaging. Figure out who your audience is. What are you going to say? All right. What are you, what are you really going to deliver? All right. Then after that, you, you just practice. You just practice your message. All right. Whether you're talking in front of a mirror, whether you're talking to yourself as you're driving, just think about how you're going to communicate, right? But if you've already prepared your message, you've kind of written it out. And I teach people not to memorize it. You don't have to memorize it. I teach a very specific way to learn your information and to recite your information. Um, and then all you have to do is relax, all right? So the, the fifth step is relax. All right? oh, breathe out your stress. And I have a story about that, which I was like, one time I was going live and like the, the producer in the booth saw me like losing it. Like she saw me oh, starting to lose it. And she was like, Amani, you got to breathe. Just take three cleansing breaths. So whether it's taking for cleansing breaths or just finding going to your happy place, doing some, whatever it is, you got to relax because no one performs well when they're stressed out. You really, you really don't. And then you just, once you've done all those things, you record your video. And so those are the six steps. And if you go through to the repeat, you'll be making videos in no time. So um, that's the process. That's really what I suggest you do if, if you, you really are challenged, really have some blocks. If you um, get really nervous, anxious. I had one, one student who went through my program. She would get physically sick. Like she would get so anxious and so, so concerned about how she looked and about how her message was coming out. She would, she would work herself into a tizzy. She would get physically sick. I was like, look. You need to relax. Like, it's not that serious. We are not saving babies. We're not planning a trip to the moon. We're not, you know, stopping nuclear war. We're not doing any of those things. We're just sharing our information. And then if you, you're really um, concerned about how you look or how you sound, you're really focused on the wrong thing. Because if you have, a, if you know in your heart that what you have is going to bless other people, then why would you not want to share that with others? You, so take the focus off of yourself and focus on the person you're going to bless with the information. And that will hopefully, it's just a mindset thing. I mean, you're making videos is 80% mindset, it's 20% preparation and execution. But that's really, um, if people really want to start making videos, I suggest that you go through the process. And um, I'm sure there are plenty of groups, but I have a group designed specifically for camera confidence. Um, and, you know, it's all, but it's all about being in a safe place. It's about doing your reps, doing your practice. And then once you're ready for it, maybe you make a video for your Facebook group or for your Facebook page or for your Facebook audience or share it on LinkedIn or Instagram. There's so many places to share videos these days. It's awesome. Yeah, and I actually, um, ha I've heard uh, one of my mentors always used to tell me that too. If you, if you're not like, if you get, if you're thinking about more about what you look like, it's not really about the message or the people. Like that, that's where your focus should be is the the people that you're wanting to reach with your message. So that is exactly that's the key. That's like public speaking one on one. Like <laughs> not, about, not about you, it's about the people. So. It really is. And public speaking and speaking on cameras, it's very similar, but it's also different because there are people who like, I, I, I talked to this uh, friend of mine. He was like, um, I will go pastors. He, he was a video producer. Also, he's like, man, pastors, like you said, I'm record a video with them in front of a camera because they're so used to the audience and the, the audience giving them feedback and like the energy and a lot of, you know, a lot of ministers, I would assume, are extroverted. So it's just different, right? Extroverts get, get energy from other people. Yeah, Introverts, we get energy from... Yeah, they're fine public speaking, but when it came to themselves in a, in a room by the camera, they were freaking they don't, out. Yeah, they don't know what to do. It's like, it's not smiling. It's not nodding. It's not, well, I like that. Like, I don't want, I don't want a whole bunch of... I mean, I can speak to audience. I give presentations. I'm going to do one this week at a, a business little conference, but... 
Um, it is different, but it's, it, there's some subtle differences and there's some nuances to speaking on camera versus speaking to a live audience. And the main thing you have to be is just, you have to be in your zone. So it's kind of like when you go live on Facebook, right? You don't know if one person's watching or if a thousand people are watching, but you have to pretend like people are watching oh, when yeah. you're going live on Facebook because there is the replay you have to think about. You have to think about your other audience, right? Where are the people who are going to watch it after you record. And so you have to go through and deliver your information and be as excited and be as enthusiastic and be in your messaging, regardless if you have a person thumbs upping it or commenting or asking you questions or not. And that's sort of the way approach you have to take your video making. Um, so yeah. Awesome. Where can people find out more about you and the six steps and maybe even uh, participate in your group too? Yeah. So my group is called the video confidence accelerator and just type that in or hey, you can search me on my money channel, A M A N I C H A N N E L on Facebook. If you want to friend me, I still have some room left on my friends list. Um, and so, um, what I will offer to any of your um, audience is if folks are interested in learning more and in getting camera confident, if you're really just struggling just to figure out what to say or how to set up your equipment or, or how to do it, um, I will offer a, a, a complimentary 15 minute, um, uh, coaching call, uh, a confidence coaching call. And so if you go to videofearless.co slash camera confidence, I think I just said this are all yesterday on, on the click funnels. So just message me or message Stacia and she'll put you in touch with me. Um, I also have an ebook coming out, which is um, going to be an introvert's guide to becoming camera confident. So it's going to go in depth into all the things that the mindset. I'm going to go in depth into the six steps to really help folks. So at the end of the day, we just want to help folks. Right? We want to help people be successful. We want to help people accomplish their goals. And if you're a, a, a coach, a business owner, if you have a service that really blesses people, you got to be using video folks. So yeah. Um, Friend me, I'm, I'm on Instagram everywhere. Amani Channel, at Amani Channel. I'm not hard to find. Yes, he's really everywhere. And I'm so glad we connected on Instagram. And he's been so patient with me <laughs> trying to connect with him. So um, you guys. We're busy people. We're, we're, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're busy business owners. Like, we're trying to build empires here. I get it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, he's, you guys, I believe it or not, um, I used to be super shy. Like, <laughs> and out of all of my friends, I'm probably still the super shyest person, but, um, it's not, it's really not, um, you know, people always like, are just like, oh, well you can do that because you're you and you, you know, it's, it's a matter of repetition. I literally do it over and over again when I'm recording, yeah. not even when I'm just live. I, sometimes I don't like what I sound like or what I look like. But I do. I just do it a hundred times. <laughs> I can. Yeah. I even do it in my group, and my group is is, is a lot smaller. Um, but I also, you know, I even my, on my business page, there's like nobody there. But it's really all about the replay. And then I, I literally do the same thing over and over again on these different platforms. So you might be like, "Oh, she's everywhere." Well, it's only because I'm practicing putting out <laughs> different places. Exactly, and that's what it is. It's all practice. Like I'm even practicing like. Um... I say, um, like, still, I just say, um, like, way too much, like, all the time. I still say, um, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Like, I say people are perfect in their own imperfection, right? So you just got to, if you're not getting it right the first time, just stay relaxed, do it again until you get it right, and get better, definitely. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you so much, Imani. And um, you guys, you know, where what to do, comment below. We'll add his links in the description later as well, too. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Much love and aloha. Peace. Thanks for listening in on this interview. If you want to join our group, make sure to click the link below in the description because we are doing a 30 day challenge. No matter what time that you're listening to this video, jump on in, join the group and start doing video today. If you got any questions, make sure to comment below in the video and we'll see you on the next video. Much love and aloha.